A female officer down in Tavares, Florida, which is in Lake County, north of Orlando, almost lost her life because she got exposed to a nearly fatal amount of fentanyl. With a fentanyl crisis gripping America, a Florida police officer nearly died after she was apparently exposed to the drug during a traffic stop. Officer Courtney Bannock didn't feel the effects at first, but then fellow officers heard Bannock gasping for breath on her radio and rushed to help. Body cam footage capturing all the drama, and we have to warn you, this footage is graphic. Watch. You get it once. After Officer Bannock got two doses of Narcan, the life-saving drug that reverses the effects of opioid overdoses, she lost consciousness again. The body cam footage picks up what happened next, and again, we need to warn you, the images are disturbing. Hey. Breathe. Come on, breathe. Hit her again. Rodney, she's not breathing. Hit her again. She out again? Yes. Can they hurry? Come on, Mark. There you go. By the tire shooting shit in your nose, girl, you gotta get up. Now, thank God that there were very highly trained officers on the scene to give her the Narcan and you know get her back going because she could have lost her life i think there have been a few officers who perished due to uh exposure to fentanyl it's a very very lethal drug never seen it in my life in person don't want to see it um it's a crisis uh america has a drug problem as we all know when trump was in office as you see on this chart from the cdc um we had about 33,000 and some change deaths from fentanyl overdoses. Now we're at over 72,000. I wonder why. And last year, there was another clip that went viral of a California deputy who almost lost his Shocking body cam video released tonight by the San Diego Sheriff's Department. It shows a deputy on the brink of death after being exposed to fentanyl. The deputy, saved by his partner who was equipped with the life-saving medicine known as Narcan, we do want to warn you, what you're about to see is difficult to watch. I need Narcan! I got you, I got you. Dramatic body cam video capturing the moment Corporal Scott Crane of the San Diego County Sheriff's Department is promising his trainee, Deputy David Fievi, he's not going to let him die after Fievi was exposed to fentanyl while processing drugs at the scene of an arrest in early July. That discovery caught on Fiavi's own body cam just minutes earlier. Yeah, it's, it's a powder. Um, it could be cocaine or fentanyl. It, 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 it tested together. positive yeah. for fentanyl. The synthetic opioid is 50 times more potent than heroin, and exposure to just a few small grains can have deadly consequences. In Fiavi's case, the exposure and his reaction to it was almost instant. A couple seconds later, he took some steps back and he collapsed. I ran over to him and I grabbed him and he was Odin. Corporal Crane was equipped with the nasal spray Narcan, a prescription medicine that rapidly reverses the effects of an overdose. Still, Five Eye needed more. Here he is, in his own words, still emotional. My lungs just locked up. I, 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 I couldn't breathe. I was trying to gasp for breath, but I, I, I couldn't breathe at all. Five Eye, you okay? Talk to me. Oh, no, no. Don't be sorry. You're okay. Don't be sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about. I got you, okay? I'm not going to let you die. Deputy Fievi taken by ambulance, overdosing again and again on his way to the hospital. But without his partner and that Narcan, he knows he would have been just another statistic in this country's deadly drug overdose epidemic. I'm Deputy David Fievi, and I almost died of a fentanyl overdose. We know that the majority of the world's fentanyl comes from China, and we know that a bulk of it comes in through the southern border. Sleepy Joe's weak on China. He's weak on the southern border. As long as the Democrats are in power and weak rhino Republicans are in power, nothing's going to change. Tens of thousands of Americans are going to continue to die overdosing on this terrible drug and 
it's unfortunate, but until we say enough is enough, this is going to continue to be our reality. Like, share, subscribe.